This is Euclid Book 10, Proposition Number 63. The square on the major straight line applied to the rational straight line produces as breadth the fourth binomial. Let AB be a major straight line. That's this one right here. Divide it at C. That, that there. So that AC is greater than CB. This length is greater than this one. Let DE be a rational straight line. There it is. Okay. And to DE, let there be applied to the parallelogram DF equal to the square on AB and producing DG as the breadth. Okay. So, we're going to apply to DE this entire area right across here. That's this plus this plus this plus this. And that area is equal to the square on AB. So this whole area here is going to be equal to that. And we're going to produce the breadth of D, DG. So this whole line here is the breadth of this rectangle. I say that DG is a fourth binomial straight line. Let the same construction be made as before shown. Then since AB is a major straight line divided at C, AB is major straight line divided at C. AB, oh, I'm sorry, AC and CB, this length right here and this length right here, are straight lines incommensurable and square, which make the sum of the squares on them rational, but the rectangle contained by them medial. So if you were to add these two rate, I'm sorry, if you were to add these two areas right here, they would be rational, but this area right here would be medial. Okay, this is by Euclid Book 10, Proposition Number 39. Since then, the sum of the squares on AC and CB is rational, since these two areas are rational. Therefore, DL is rational. That means this whole area right here is rational. Therefore, DM is also rational and commensurable length with DE. This length is rational and it's commensurable with this. This is by Euclid Book 10, Proposition Number 20. Again, since twice the rectangle ACCB, that's this one right here, twice that rectangle, that is MF. Okay, what's MF? That's this area plus this area combined. This whole area is MF. Okay. Since twice this area, or this right here, whichever one you want to go with, is medial and is applied to the rational straight line ML. Okay, so this area has been applied to this. Therefore, MG is also rational. This line right here is rational and is incommensurable in length with DE. Why is this line right here incommensurable with DE? Because this line right here is incommensurable in length with this and this length is the same as this. That's why. This is by Euclid Book 10, Proposition Number 22. Therefore, DM, that's this line across here, is also incommensurable in length with MG. This is incommensurable with this. This is by Euclid Book 10, Proposition Number 13. Therefore, DM and MG, this line right here and this line right here, are rational straight lines commensurable in square only. Therefore, DG is a binomial. This is a binomial here. This is by Euclid Book 10, Proposition Number 36. It is to be proved that it is also the, a fourth binomial straight line. In a manner similar to the foregoing, we can prove that DM is greater than MG. We can prove that this is greater than this. And that the rectangle DKKM is equal to the square on MN. The area inside of this rectangle is going to be the same amount of area. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a square out of this line right here. Okay, all four sides of that square are going to be the length of MN. So the area inside of here will be the area inside of here. Okay. Since, the, since then the square on AC, which is this one right here, is incommensurable with the square on CB, which is this one right here. Therefore DH, okay, where is DH? That's this area right here is also incommensurable with KL. These two areas are not commensurable. So that DK is also incommensurable with KM. 
Okay. So, this line and this line, they are not commensurable. And that's my Euclid Book 6, Proposition Number 1, and Euclid Book 10, Proposition Number 2. But if there be two unequal straight lines, and to the greater there be applied a parallelogram equal to the fourth part of the square on the less, and deficient by a square figure, and if it divided into incommensurable parts, then the square on the greater will be greater than the square on the less, but the square on a straight line incommensurable in length with the greater, which is by Euclid Book 10, Proposition Number 18. Therefore, the square on DM, so if we were to take this line here, we make it into a square, there's a square. It's greater than the square on MG, which is the square right across here. We take this line, we turn it into a square. So that area and that area are not commensurable. I'm sorry. Let me try that again. This square over here is greater than this square over here. And it is by the square on a straight line incommensurable with DM. And DM and MG are rational straight lines commensurable and square only. So the only time that these two lines are commensurable is when we square them. And DM is commensurable with the rational straight line DE, which is set out. So this is commensurable with this. Therefore, DG is a fourth binomial straight line by Euclid Book 10, set of sec set, second set of definitions, number four. And that is the whole proof. I, again, will tell you more in a future video, so I want you to stay tuned.